Ah, this is it. Day 50. Wait a sec. Day 50 of my 50-day Strub Snap Swabs project is here. But I'm still missing something. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, yes. It's time to get down to business, because we still have one swap remaining. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and 50 states, 50 snap swaps, but are they really great? In order to make snap swaps great again, I need your help. I need you to follow these instructions, and you can be part of tomorrow's finale. The first thing I need you to do, and this is important, is screenshot and add this account Strub Snap Swaps on Snapchat. I need you to send me a video to implore me to make Snap Swaps great again. Have fun with it. And if you want to see how I am going to make snap swaps great again. You need to add this account. Today, April 16th, 2016, day 50 of Strub Snap Swaps. Today, together, we will make snap swaps great again. Folks, it's day 50 of Strub Snap Swaps. Time for our grand finale. Ladies and gentlemen, the godfather of snap swaps himself. Jason Yarborough. Hey, 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 what are you doing here? Don't you have snap swaps? Not anymore. I quit. Well, since when are you the quitting kind? <sighs> I don't know. I just don't see the point anymore. Well, so you didn't make it to the Shorty Awards. The greater tragedies in the world. I wanted to run out of that tunnel for my dad. To prove to everyone that I was... Prove what? That I was somebody. Oh, you're so full of crap. Five feet nothing, a hundred and nothing, barely a speck of social ability, and you hung in there with the best Snapchatters in the world for 50 days. Going to walk out of here is the first person to ever Snapchatter live stream in all 50 states, and the first person to ever snap swap 50 straight days. In this lifetime, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody except yourself. And after what you've gone through, if you haven't done that by now, then it ain't never gonna happen. Now go on back to snap swapping. I'm sorry, I never got you to see your first snap swap. <sighs> Hell, I've seen too many snap swaps. But I thought you said you've never seen a snap swap. I've never seen a snap swap as a viewer. You were a snap swapper? I started snap swaps almost a year ago. Just thought I wasn't being viewed because of my beard. I got filled up with a lot of attitude and I haven't done one since you started. Not a week goes by where I don't regret it. And I guarantee you not a week in your life will go by where you won't regret it as well. Just walking out like that. Letting them get the best of you. Can you hear me clear enough? Yes. Hey, what's up guys? This is Jason Yarby. Uh, 
Uh, no, it's not. You're in Houston. This is Jarvi. I'm in Charlotte, see? Wait, what? Mm, and who are you? Uh, Yar B. You know, the guy you leave behind every time you go on some sort of stupid road trip. What? What, are you on another one of those Yarbenzo adventures? Are you guys in Maui riding bikes and holding hands and stuff? I mean, what's going on this time? What's so important that you can't be here? Actually, no, I'm down in Houston with my... Our... My... Girlfriend, Sam. Visiting her family. Look, you're meeting the parents. So cut me some freaking slack. So, like I was saying, I'm Jason Yarby. I'm actually from North Carolina, Charlotte, which is where my troll is from. And I'm actually in Houston with my girlfriend visiting her family. North Carolina is obviously where Strobe finished his 50 straight days of snapping and live streaming and working with nonprofits because it's just the best. And in typical Strobe fashion, to finish in North Carolina just wouldn't have been much of a story. So I had to travel, like Strobe did and does. So I traveled to Houston. I'm not going to bore you much with who I am and what I do. I love Snapchat. I love it for what it is. My buddy Vincenzo and I started Snap Swaps a while back. And today, I'm in Texas. So I'm going to show you. Well, you're in Houston. Well, lottie freaking da. You could be here at your favorite place, Common Market, but no. I'm going in. Missing your sexy power yet? Time for a little bike ride on this sweet little piece of action. We came into town, we're gonna go play some top golf. Has anyone ever played top golf before? We'll see who wins here. I'm up next here at the old top golf. Uh, it's been a while since I've swung a club, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, and after this, I've got a little story to tell you. I hit it. Maybe not my best performance, but golf story. My friend Matt Goggin is on the professional golf tour. Some of you might know his PGA, some of you might know his web.com. So his caddy recently retired and doesn't have a caddy right now. So I had a bit of free time and so if you ever needed someone that I could help. So a few weeks ago in Lafayette, Louisiana, I got to caddy for Matt in the tournament, which was amazing. It was an amazing experience, one I might not ever have again, so of course I had to do it, and of course I did it, and it was just an amazing experience. I would do it again. It was fun. This morning's monologue was from a movie called Rudy, and right now we are in a Texas barbecue joint named Rudy's. I love when a story comes full circle. Be my new friend. This is Cat. Cat has a big head like my little girl Lucy back home. Hey, Cat. Ah, uh, Lucy girl. I wonder what she's up to right now. Lonely. I'm Mr. Lonely. I have no bus. So we've had a Texas brunch, rode bikes, played top golf, had Texas barbecue, done plenty of day drinking. Now we're getting ready to go to a cookout. I think we're doing Texas right. Houston Smoothston, what about the Queen City that you left behind that you're always talking about, always showing on Snapchat? This is where you live, bro. Okay, fair is fair. I do miss the Queen City. Charlotte is pretty amazing. I'm ready to get back home and do some more exploring and riding the bike and penny board. Don't you touch that bike and penny board. So excuse this, but I have to go to bed soon because my flight leaves at 6 a.m. But I'm here because I want to, like, cheer for Chris. I'm so excited for Chris, I just wanted to say I think that you are absolutely amazing for making these 50 days. Like, I'm so blown away right now. In awe. 
And I feel like as a collective, you have amassed so many people who love you and support you and are behind you, and you've done it from a genuine So I just got a couple of minutes. Just want to say, Chris, you are amazing. You're incredible. I am so honored to call you a friend, and I just, yeah, blowing us. Yo, cheer Chris on. Give him so much love. Thanks for having me on, Chris. You are awesome. I just want to take 10 seconds to say, Job well done, Chris. Job well done. Just a 10 seconds. Chris Strub, Mr. Livestream, Mr. Periscope, Mr. 50 States in 100 Days. We all love you, buddy. Congratulations. I am so honored to be on here as half of Yarbenzo for Yarby Day, Day 50. We are so freaking proud of you, man. You've done such an amazing And for the record, you, you and Yarby do a pretty good monologue, Strub, but you'll never compete with me and Yarby. I'm just saying. Nonetheless, buddy, I love you all the same. Again, I'm so proud of you, and I hope that you continue to do amazing work. For the record, I, I think I cut into Ben Phillips' Figo Americano. Oops. Oh, that's truly our Benzo style. Chris Strub, I'm so glad that I've gotten to know you over the past few months and also to see all of your snap swaps because they've been amazing. No matter what we do in this life, only a small number of us can say that we left the world better than we found it. And you, my friend, are one of those people. You reach out, you help others. Thank you, my friend, for what you have done, what you continue to do, and what you will do. You're an inspiration. This little guy right here okay. allowed me to discover and understand the power of live stream. See, many people I worked with in brands were trying really hard to tell their story using live streaming, but were they telling other people's stories? Were they understanding the power? Chris Strub, you, my friend, have mastered the art of celebrating others, telling other people's story. And honestly, that's your story. I seriously thought you were crazy when I discovered you doing 50 states in 100 days. But I actually think this initiative was just as crazy, if not more. So Chris Strub, everyone that supported Chris Strub, thank you for exemplifying the power of social media, the power of storytelling, and the power of great people. And let me be real for a moment. Can I get Chris Strub back on Chris Strub's channel? I'm tired of chasing you around to find your content. So for the next 50 days, can we get Chris Strub back? So in all honesty, Chris Strub, thank you for celebrating everyone else for being the man amongst very many boys and girls, and thank you for being you. Chris, on the stage, I preach consistency. I, can pre I preach the importance of being yourself, and I preach the importance of celebrating others. You, my friend, are the example. If you want one lesson from the Chris Strub, Strub Swaps, nobody needs permission to take action. That, my friend, is a lesson we all So thank you, Chris Strub. Cheers to you, my friend, on one hell of an accomplishment. Thank you for leading the way for all of us. With that, Meerkat out. So Chris, obviously we all love you, bro. We all believe in you. And we're all extremely proud of what you've done here. I've done plenty of snap swaps myself. And I know the work that goes into them. And I could not imagine, not even fathom, the work that goes into doing them for 50 straight days. Even today was a bit strenuous. And I haven't done one in quite some time. So man... I'm so proud of you, and I hope that this has brought so much recognition to them. It's like I was saying, one take swaps. Uh, that today has brought so much recognition to all the nonprofits you work with. You've single handedly infinitely increased the awareness of all these nonprofits and the work that they are doing. No one else could do this. A mantra in the actual domain that charity is sexy, and the work that we do makes people feel sexy. And you are making them feel sexy right now. And when people feel sexy, they want to share their sexy. They want to give back even more and make others see their sexy and feel more sexy. So keep making charity sexy. And I know the last few days has been strenuous. But dude, keep on, keep on, keep on giving back. Keep on making charity sexy. Keep on raising the awareness. Just keep making us aware of all the cool shit people are doing out there to make other lives better. And listen up. If you haven't bought Chris's book, just go do it. What are you waiting on? It's been 50 days. Just go buy the thing. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of money, and it makes other lives better.
So yeah, that's the end of my rant. But before I go, I have one more thing I want to do here. One more person to introduce you to. I'm here in Houston slash Spring, Texas, hanging out, spending, meeting Sam's family for the first time. So it's really only fitting that you meet Sam. I've saved her for the very end because you know what they say? You save the best for last. So, Strub Nation, without further ado, let me introduce you to the fabulous Samantha White. Strub Nation, this is my beautiful, fabulous girlfriend, Samantha White. She's busy cutting stuff for the tacos, but let me tell you something. I'm one of the most talented, creative, inspiring people I've ever met in my life. And you're gonna So guys, that's all I've got for today. This is the end of Chris Strubbs. 50 snap swaps in 50 straight days. I can't tell you what an honor it's been to get to spend the last day of Shrub snap swaps with you all and to take over his accounts and to have him on mine. So here's what I want every single one of you guys to do. Go to Twitter, Facebook, here, Instagram, whatever. Hashtag one take Shrub praise. And tell this guy, Chris Shrub, what a phenomenally amazing, fantastic job he has done over the last 50 days because it's been a lot of hard effing work. Shower the dude in praise and one take snaps in typical Chris Strub form. Show him you love him. Give him the love because he's worthy of it. He's a great f He's a great dude. That's what I was trying to say in that last one take snap. So guys, that's it. I'm Jason Yarby. This is a hot tub. I'm going to go get in it. Peace and good night.